episode 3307, Count Your Blessings, Not Your Burdens. Moms, it's time to rediscover, rejuvenate, and renew who you are in mind, body, and spirit. Welcome to Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie, the show to help you do just that. Here's your host, certified life coach, personal trainer, and nutritionist, Christiane Wargo. Happy, happy day and happy Valentine's Day. Oh yes, it's the day of love. And for you, I want you to think about this in a different manner. I want you to know how to love yourself. Count your blessings, not your burdens. For those of you who are brand new to Creature Now, welcome to this incredible family. I'm so delighted of your presence. If you already even had the opportunity, you'll want to head over to creaturenow.com where you can learn more and sign up for the Kisses newsletter. They keep it simple strategy, everyday solutions to live love and impact. Well, this episode is brought to you by AIM, inspiring connection and community. Well, are you still recovering? Come on. This is all about healthy living and what you need to do to live a life on purpose with direction. And whether we want to admit it or not, we can be very rude to ourselves by threatening irrational actions because we don't like what we see in the mirror. Have you ever done that in the morning where you wake up and you're like, oh, look at you. Like, you should just go back to bed. Why are you even sitting here talking to me? On this Valentine's Day, count your blessings, not your burdens. Because seriously, when you look in that mirror, who do you see? Are you one who complains about your wrinkles, the laugh lines that won't go away? In fact, your frown lines become more pronounced when you look in the mirror. Why is that? Are you counting your burdens and not your blessings? Maybe you've got it reversed. You know, you have one body and the need to care for it in a way that no one else can. And speaking words of hurt and ugliness defeats the purpose of being kind. It defeats the purpose of loving yourself right where you're at. Now you might be saying, huh, Christy Ann, you just don't understand what I've been through. I've tried to lose weight for decades. I've tried to gain strength and flexibility, but I just can't get my body to do what it needs to do. It's like I fight it every single day. And I'm just, I'm done. It's just easier just to kind of live in the body I have. I get it. Living a healthy lifestyle is not easy. It takes commitment on a daily basis, moment by moment. But you have to get in the game of life. You have got to stop the excuses and count your blessings, not your burdens. But for whatever reason, we get caught up in, oh, my body can't do this. I need to drop 25 pounds. I need to, you know, gosh, it'd sure be nice if I could just drink more water. Oh, yes, water is good for the body. But you know what? Why do you still talk about it? It's like you want to live in this atmospheric pressure of, yep, I'm just going to settle. And I'm okay with settling. My friend, you get to see what you have, all the good your body does for you when you look in that mirror. So I want you to take a deep breath. All right, try it again because I know you're already hesitant. What is Christy Ann doing today? Come on, breathe with me. Breathe in and breathe out. Keep breathing out and out. Now, this probably isn't something you've done on Valentine's Day before. I want you to love yourself. That is your kiss. Love yourself. And I want you to lean in more. I really want you to listen. So if you're distracted right now, stop what you're doing. If you can't deal with the dinner dishes and dogs right now, then stop. Put me on pause and come back. And literally set a timer and come back to me. Because this is valuable for you. This might be your do or die switch in life. You know, where you make that decision of, man, this changed the course of my life. I'm not saying I'm changing your course. Only you control your life. I do not. But I do believe it's very pivotal. And I find it very interesting that Valentine's Day is on Ash Wednesday. It's a kickoff to our Easter season, Lent season, 40 days prior to. Now, I'm not going to get into all of that. Whether you're a believer or not, it, it is what it is. And I do believe it. But one thing I know for sure, I don't care what you believe, is you got to love yourself. And you do this in a unique manner for yourself. 
not in a way that is prideful or to the detriment of others, right? It's not about boasting who you are, like, oh, look at me. It's to lift up who you are so you can experience the love God has for you in your every day. Love yourself. And it's unfortunate because a lot of us don't do that. For decades, I did not do that well. I beat myself up every single time I looked in the mirror. Whether it was a short mirror, a little round mirror where I could only see my eyes. Maybe it was a little bit longer where I could see my waist and I was like, ooh. Then if I got the full length mirror, I was like, whoa, back up, back up. No, 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 run the other direction. Don't look in that full length mirror. Oh, and wait, did you know they have different types of mirrors? They have different types of mirrors, even in dressing rooms. One that makes you look actually thinner. So you try it on, you're like, wow, I look good. And you go home and you put on the same outfit and you're like, oh my gosh, what happened? I like gained 10 pounds. Yeah, there is such a thing. Go look it up, Google it. But I'm here to nullify all of that today. It's not about your mirror. It's about your own reflection. Love yourself. What does that look like in your everyday? Number one, nurture your mind. You do this by growing in gratitude for your reflection. You've got to grow that gratitude by speaking kind words to yourself when you look in the mirror and smiling at who you are becoming. Now, you might be struggling with where you are right now. You might want to be down 27 more pounds, but that doesn't make you less than because your weight is more than. Let that sink in. Just because you have five more pounds to lose, just because you have 55 pounds to lose, that doesn't make you less than because your weight is more than. Your conversation with yourself might sound like this. Oh, girl, look at you. You are going to conquer your day with attitude and beauty. Your eyes are going to see those who need your attention. Your smile is going to wake up hope in others. And your heart is going to lead your steps today. That, my friend, copy and put that post-it on your mirror. Read that to yourself every single day. Oh, girl, look at you. You are going to conquer your day with attitude and beauty. Your eyes are going to see those who need your attention. Your smile is going to wake up hope in others. And your heart is going to lead your steps today. Nurture your mind. Love yourself. Number two, nourish your body. You do this by eating foods that feed your mind, body, and spirit with the goodness of vitamins and minerals, by intentionally moving your muscles and joints to gain strength and flexibility, and by sleeping so you have the energy to be a living legacy every day. Wow. That totally changes everything. My friend, New Year's resolutions, oh, they're long gone. They are out the window. And the Super Bowl, if you haven't noticed, it's over. It's done. But your life, you have breath today. So treat your body well. This Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day. Woohoo! Don't get junk chocolate. Spend a couple more dollars more and get the good chocolate that has chocolate beans that help your body and are more beneficial to you. Why put crap chemicals in your body? Seriously, think about that. We'll spend money on other things to like look good. Like we'll go buy those hundred dollar pair of jeans. Really? (laughs) I'm like, I don't know. I've never gotten over this. Even when I was young, I didn't understand holes in your jeans. I'm like, if I just wear them out, they get their own holes. Why would I go spend a hundred, two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars for jeans that already have rips in them? Like they replace them. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense, right? So why would you put crap chemicals in your body? What I'm saying here is stop putting in stuff that isn't real food. It's not going to do anything. It's just going to coat your cells. It's going to make your cells freak out in the bad sense. My friend, you are made for more. So treat your body well. Nourish it well. And finally, number three, embrace who you are becoming. You might have a real battle with who you see in the mirror. Your reflection isn't who you remember or even who you want to see. I get it. I was one who, shoot, if I didn't have a mirror, I was okay, but I still needed to, you know, not look like a clown, so I had to look at, you know, how I put my makeup on. My makeup, I had always looked good, but man, the rest of me, I was like, oh, no, what are you doing? 
But my friend, you have to be kind to yourself before you can be kind to others. Love your neighbor as yourself. That comes from Mark 12, 31. Some people think, oh, well, you know, that's just kind of a statement. No, 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 that's actually in the Bible. Love your neighbor as yourself. You have today to make a difference, to make an impact on the world you touch because you have breath. So do it well by embracing who you are becoming. Celebrate what you do today because of who you were yesterday. You becoming 1% better every day makes room for growth in your mind, body, and spirit. So that means, yes, yesterday did count for something today. And that means tomorrow, Lord willing, when it becomes today, you can continue to create that impact. Live, love, impact. You make choices every day. So let those choices exploit who you are becoming for the better of who you are becoming. Happy Valentine's Day. And this Valentine's Day, know that you are willing to make the choices that will change the trajectory of your every day so you can live a life well-lived. This is showing your reflection in your heart, the love and appreciation you deserve. You are made for more. So I've got one other thing I want you to put on a post-it, right? We've already got one post-it done. I'm going to read that to you now. Are you ready? All right, get ready. Here we go. Oh, girl, look at you. You're going to conquer your day with attitude and beauty. Your eyes are going to see those who need your attention. Your smile is going to wake up hope in others. And your heart is going to lead your steps today. Okay, that's one, right? That's one post-it. Now, here's your final one, your second one. Wake up your heart and open your eyes to see the glory God put inside. Count your blessings, not your burdens. You were made to shine. Happy Valentine's Day, my friend. Go in peace, be present, be incredible, be you. I love you so very much. I cannot wait to see you on the other side. Blessings, hugs, and lots and lots of love. We'll talk to you real soon. Have a glorious and blessed Valentine's Day. Bye-bye. Feeling inspired, ready to train for life, and love your journey? Visit createyournow.com for more incredible resources to help you along the way. We'll see you next time on Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie. And remember, always be sure you consult your physician before beginning any health and fitness plan.